Hello everyone and welcome back to Computer Science for Everyone. This time we're going to iterate through an array. This means we're going to visit every element in the array and potentially print it out or change it or do something with it. So what I've got here is our um, array intro class that we created two videos ago. And after printing the details out, let's, let's run this class and remind ourselves of what it did. We created two arrays with values in them and two arrays with no values in them. And then we printed out the values and we did something else. I'm just going to remove this one because this one was for uh, testing purposes. So let's see if we can print every value in our int array instead of just printing one of the values. As I've shown in the presentation, we need to use a for loop. And then we're going to start at the beginning of the array, index 0. And we're going to go until the size of the array. So what this does is that we start at index 0. We repeat this loop from 0 up to the length of the array, which is 5. And then we increase the index after each iteration. This is going to go from 0 to 4. In this instance, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Because when i is 5, 5 is not less than the length, which is 5. So the loop wouldn't run in that instance. So at every iteration, i is 0, we print out the 0th element. i is 1, we print out element 1 i is 2, we print out 2, 3, 3, 4, and 4. Then when i is 5, we stop. This is the way to print out arrays and do things with arrays and iterate through arrays. So learning this and learning how it works is vital for programming. So there we have our numbers. 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, which are the numbers 1, 3, 5, 6, 7 in our array. So we can do the same for the strings. Notice how I'm using j instead of i because we've already used i before. And it goes the same way. In this case, j is going from 0 to 3 because we have three elements here. So 0, 1, and 2 are going to be the stops in the for loop. And then each time we go through the for loop, we print out string array j element, which is 0, 1, or 2, depending on which iteration of the loop we are in. And then we get the three uh, phrases printed out on the screen. So this is exactly what we wanted to do, which is brilliant. It is very important to see what I've already stressed out. Length is the number of elements, the index is from 0 to the length minus 1. So if the length is 5, the indices go from 0 to 4, where 4 is the length minus 1, which is 5 minus 1. Similarly, in here, the index go from 0 to 2, but the length is 3. This is why we do i less than the length and not less than equal to the length. If we did that, we would get an error. Array index out of bounds because indeed we've tried accessing index 5, but index 5 doesn't exist. So this is why we use up to but not including the length. Okay, so I think this is explaining pretty much everything related to iterating through arrays. There's not much more about how to iterate through arrays. Iterating through array lists, however, is a bit more interesting, and this is what we're going to do in the next presentation and programming video. So stick around and let's go into array lists.